Guru, welcome to our practical session. Today we are now about how to measure dielectric constant of a dielectric material. We know that a dielectric material which partially allows the electric current through them. This dielectric material has lot of application in present technology. Now the dielectric material has its constant called as a dielectric constant is represented with the epsilon r. The dielectric constant of a, any dielectric material where we are taking to measure a dielectric materials of solid materials. Here we are taking a solid materials examples glass, ebonite, plastic, or wood, wooden plate like that various type of dielectric materials are taken here and this dielectric constant of this material is measured from the resonant circuit where the resonant circuit is shown here. The resonant circuit contains uh, RFO generator or AC frequency generator and is connected to the primary coil of the transformer and the secondary coil of the transformer is connected to C1. This C1 is called variable capacitance whose value can be varied in uh, steps by various values and this C1 is connected to variable capacitance now here it is variable capacitance now this point positive connection is given to one side and ground connection of the variable capacitance is given to the other terminal and similarly we have parallel plate capacitance C where it is called as a test capacitance this test capacitance is parallel to the C1 and this test capacitance C1 is connected to a conductive plate where we are maintaining dielectric constant whose dielectric constant is to be measured. So this connection is given to the ground point, another connection is given to this point. This is the connections, two connections are given to the variable capacitance, two connections are given to the test capacitance. And what we are doing here is uh, there is a capacitance of the dielectric material which has a fixed value. This capacitance of a conducting plates, these two conducting plates uh, has fixed value. This value is fixed and but this value where it is connected parallel to this is variable. As we are varying this value in steps uh, at a particular capacitance, uh, the C1 capacitance uh, is equal to test capacitance. As C1 and C, these two values are getting equal, maximum current is flowing through the circuit. The current flowing through the circuit is measured here, ammeter, but this ammeter is uh, connected as a digital ammeter, directed digital display of current. This digital ammeter will uh, show that maximum current when C1 value is equal to C test capacitance. Variable capacitance equal to test capacitance means the C1 value is known from here and this C1 value is equal to the capacitance between the conducting plates. Like that we can measure the capacitance of the conducting plates with dielectric as C1 and uh, with, with dielectric as C1 and without the dielectric we remove this dielectric and measure as an C2. Even you know that C1 value with dielectric and C2 without dielectric between the conducting plates, then the two values are taken as a difference of these two values will give C and the C value is to be substituted in dielectric constant C epsilon R is equal to C T by epsilon R T A and here the C1 capacitance with dielectric, C2 capacitance with the dielectric and T means thickness of the plate means the conducting plates is covered with the dielectric material and the thickness of the dielectric material is nothing but the thickness of the conducting plate that is to be known from the seeing of conducting plate sorry dielectric material and area of the plates the area of the plates is breadth into length into breadth of the plate will give the area of the plates so you know the area T and C substituting that values in this we will get C1 um, epsilon r of a particular material. So a dielectric material has dielectric constant epsilon r that is calculated and like that we can go for testing dielectric constant of other material uh, like uh, first we are measured ebonite and uh, next one is 
going to measure glass the next one is plastic like that we can change various type of materials here and we can measure the uh, relevant dielectric constant so a dielectric material whose dielectric constant is measured by bridge resonance method and this bridge resonance circuit is shown like this thank you so welcome to the real uh, circuit diagram of uh, measurement of dielectric constant trainer kit this is a dielectric constant trainer kit in this dielectric constant trainer kit we are given three types of dielectric materials this is first type of dielectric material wooden plank this has a thickness of uh, 6 mm where it is shown here itself 6 mm thickness and this is a wooden plank is a dielectric material is the first material where we are measuring the dielectric constant taking another material where it is a glass transparent glass plate and whose thickness is also given mentioned here 2.8 mm and this glass plate is also in a dielectric material and whose dielectric constant is now also measuring the next one is a plastic material this plastic has also thickness of 3.1 mm this thickness of the material is also mentioned on this plate and this plate um, is also measuring the dielectric constant okay now this is the two conducting plates where we are keeping the dielectric const constant whose dielectric constant is to be measured we keep that material dielectric material in between these two conducting plate one is positive conducting plate another is negative conducting plate and this um, dielectric material where it is placed between these two conducting plates uh, like this is uh, adjusted tightly by this knobs we can fit this knobs uh, loose this knobs and take uh, near to this one and fix this uh, knobs like this as we are tight this one slide gently and to avoid the gap a gap we will fix the clamp like this after completion of keeping the clamp between the connecting plates uh, with the dielectric we will connect this capacitance this capacitance is called as a test capacitor this test capacitor is given to the test capacitor points uh, like this and the the next one is c1 capacitance which is variable capacitance here it is shown this variable capacitance is given to the variable capacitance knob this is the variable capacitance knob this variable capacitance knob is connected to this variable capacitor and test capacitor knobs are connected to the test capacitor points after connection of all these thing we switch on this circuit keeping the um, variable capacitance knob at a maximum value maximum means this is 290 here there is a reading where it is 290 so 290 is the reading we will keep the maximum capacitance 290 and then we will uh, switch on the circuit board and here power to be on as your power is on you are observing that there is there is a current is displayed on this current meter here this is the meter where it is showing some current what is the current 190 is showing 190 microamps and now what you have to do gradually change this knob reducing the capacitance in steps like this and observe the current previously it is 119 and now 190 it is now 422 so what you are observed that the current strength is increasing now it is how much 482 so you are varying this knob gradually decrease the capacitance test capacitor variable capacitance value in steps you are observing that current is increasing and decrease later so it is now what is that 460 previously what is the value 482 so the maximum current is crossed so we can go for maximum current point so now this is maximum current point what is the value 511 511 is the maximum current and once this maximum current is observed you note this capacitance this is the capacitance 
and this is 170 this is 220 220 230 is there so what is the capacitance c1 230 to be noted in a in our table the material type of the material what is the type of material this is uh, wooden plank wooden plank and what is the thickness thickness is 6 mm and what is the c1 value c1 value is 230 microfarad so that is picofarad not microfarad to be noted in table after that you have to do that remove the clamp and remove the plate between this conducting plate and maintaining the same separation between these conducting plates and repeat this operators experiment now once again keep that knob 290 and decrease the capacitance in steps and observe the current what is the current is now 375 now decrease the value observe that 457 next 513 14 now just increase decrease what is happening 529 30 is increasing now it is decreasing 532 520 so the maximum power point is crossed yes this point 533 so what is the capacitance to be noted here on this knob the capacitance is now 265 so the 265 is c2 c1 is a 220 and you can have a c1 difference c2 value that is c and thickness already known and we will substitute all the values area area means length of this uh, uh, plate and breadth of this plate this is also fixed value 81.7 and we can substitute that centimeter square we can substitute all the values you can get the dilate constant of uh, the ebonite material yes, or wooden plant similarly replace the procedure with the glass measure the glass dilate constant finally go for taking plastic and do that with the plastic also by measuring three materials our experiment our aim is completed thank you